Hey guys, just uh, finished watching Steve Benway's discussion on manuals and the sort of evolution with games that have been used to be quite elaborate and have become minimal, even redundant. And it got me thinking about uh, the Mega Drive slash Genesis uh, manuals and um, what differences we got in the different uh, regions, etc. And basically, how we really got screwed over down under in New Zealand and Australian uh, region. So I'll give you a quick overview of them all. Um, a lot of you will be familiar, of course, um, with the Japanese and Genesis, but just to give this to give you the absolute contrast in the quality, we all know about the Japanese manuals. Uh, nice uh, bound, full colour, front and back, and um, this is Golden Axe. This is quite a good typical example. Um, most Japanese games have specific uh, art, hand drawn artwork uh, depicting the games and this is a good example um, if you haven't seen the Japanese copy it's just awesome full colour glossy pages um, depicting the story and then you've got also quite um, detailed control schemes screenshots Sorry, it's a bit awkward. And it's interesting, they, you know, it still has some English um, words to, for the um, controls, etc. Nice screenshots and nice layout, just really, really nice. And um, so many pages in these. I think this particular one's got about 29 colour pages, all colour. You know, this is just for a side-scrolling, um, pretty straightforward beat-em-up. You can imagine the RPGs and stuff. I don't play RPGs, but they'll be pretty detailed. The enemies, all the interpretations, it's really well done. And each Japanese manual has this quirky little cartoons of um, sort of a user guide and do's and don'ts with your cartridge, etc. Quite funny. And uh, ads for upcoming games, Truxton. Now, the Genesis uh, manual is basically looks the same from the outside, colour, front and back. Um, but I haven't come across a Genesis, I don't have a whole lot of Genesis manuals, but I haven't come across one yet that has any uh, colour photos in it. Uh, let me know if there are, but just seems typically black and white, but still, you know, quite comprehensive, a um, lot of pages still, with information. But one of the things I've just, you know, it's just not on with manuals, I, I think, is that, especially with items, etc., um, you know, often you need to see the colour, and it was a big oversight by the people who are printing manuals, and it uh, just shows you it's a big step down. But I consider that the sort of second best you know, and, and the Japanese being the first, and third place will come the, U, the UK manuals. Um, always uh, side on, slipping like this, rather than the um, up and down bound ones. And you, you know, they seem quite thick, but they're actually quite minimal manuals, it's just that they um, have incorporate other European languages inside so um, you know that's what fattens them up some multiple languages in there uh, just in case you're watching El Caro uh, this is my manual uh, that I was gonna sell with Second Samurai just to give you an idea of the condition it's pretty good but anyway um, here so as you can see just the English will just be down there and this is like three other languages here so very very boring and not many pictures and this is typical this isn't just um for this particular game it's often like this um you know it describes the objects rather than um taking photos or um, having shots in there so that's a bit of a uh, shortcut i suppose but 
Those are awesome compared to what we got in um, New Zealand and Australia. We would get this if we're lucky, you know. Um, staple bound blue and white book. Uh, often very minimal, the paper quality is rubbish. And um, as you can see, you know, this is terrible. The shots are so small, you, you know, you can barely make anything out. Shocker. But um, as I said, if we're lucky, but generally we just get these, you know, Thunder Force 4, one of the best games ever made. Um, it's upside down. That's why um, I'm going to get the Japanese version of this for sure. But, um, you know, we just get fold out ones, you know, they wouldn't. Just like this, you know, real budget. Look at that. So that's what we got. Either fold out or just little bound boxes like this, blue and white. So pretty rubbish. You can see the differences there. Um, a lot of you may have been aware, but I thought I'd just uh, give you the heads up and um, so you realise how lucky you are up there in North America and in Europe. But take it easy. I'll see you soon.